In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to replace the inside battery on the iPhone 15. I've already powered the device down and I've also had it sat face down on this heat mat for the last 15 minutes or so. Now, this phone is one of our staff members. He's got one of our screen protectors on it. Normally, I would just put some tape over this, but in all honesty, I'm going to replace this screen protector after doing this repair. But if you're placing the phone face down, it's a good idea to put some protective tape on the device so that you don't scratch the screen. I would also strongly recommend using a heat mat or hot plate if you are going to remove the back cover of this one because it is quite tricky to get off. To begin the repair, we need to remove the two pentalobe screws from the bottom of the device, either side of the USB-C port. Store those safely for reinstallation later and then I'm gonna get my trusted suction cup on the bottom of the phone, quite near to the bottom edge and then I'm going to add a couple of drops of isopropyl alcohol. And then hopefully it's going to start to create a very small gap in that bottom edge. And then what I'm looking for is a gap just big enough to fit my guitar pick into. It's just started lifting like that and then it comes away quite easy. Once I've got my guitar pick in, I am going to keep the suction cup on there. But I'm just going to very slowly work my way around a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and just sort of lifting up with the suction cup sliding around with the guitar pick and i'm doing everything in my power not to break this because like i say this is one of our staff members phones and he's literally over my shoulder watching me do this he's the guy who's going to be editing the video as well so the pressure's on guys <laughs> anyway jokes aside i'm just continuing around this is probably the trickiest bit and i'll just I don't know, this glass is like the thickest around here, but I just feel like it'd probably be the most fragile because of the weird shape of it. But as long as you're cautious, add plenty of alcohol, then you'll find that it comes away and you can slide around. When it jerks like that, that's because it's clipped in at the top, similar to removing the screen off an iPhone. It's clipped in at the top and you have to sort of pop it out. So now we've got the what i can see here is the right hand edge the bottom edge and the top edge i'm just going to go back down and i am going to work my way along the right hand edge even though this opens like a book from the back cover so it opens from right to left like that what i'm going to do i'm still going to pop this side out because like i say there's there's little clips in it and if you just open it up similar to you do with like an iphone 11 for example if you do it that way, it will bend those little clips that hold it in place. And that's what, I don't want to do that. I want to reuse this, this back cover. So that's it. See how it's like popped off and it's free now. The rest of it is free. And we can just lift it up just like that. And I'll keep that on there. I'll probably keep this on until I put it back together. One thing that's easy to do is get is touch these camera lenses like I don't like them being exposed like that so what I'm going to do I've just got a bit of Kapton tape I'm just going to cover them up like that because like I say it's very easy to uh, to touch them and then end up causing smears and smudges or get some alcohol on it and stuff anyway moving on we need to get the rest of this back cover off before we get the battery out so first of all we have got two dry wing screws just here and here while i've got the screwdriver in my hand i'm just going to go up to this triwing screw up the top as well so that's this one here and then there's those two all these screws are the same size by the way but what i'm going to do look i'll grab the tweezers now and we're going to get this shield off first it's like hooked into place there look so just be aware same with this one this one's got a little like a little latch on it as well i think this one's the awkward one yeah, there's like a weird latch. Yeah, you have to push it that way. I knew there was a, a way to do it. Take that out. And then this one will come off. You just have to get it at the right angle. There we go. So get those two out and then we'll store them for reinstallation in a bit. Finally, before we move over to the workbench, I'm gonna disconnect the battery, which is this guy just here. So disconnect that. And also disconnect this guy just here. This is for the wireless charging coil and flash. So now that means that we can just pull this guy off 
And whilst this phone's hot, I'm going to do a couple of things. First, I'm going to try and remove the adhesive using the spindle tool. So I'm talking about the adhesive that holds that back cover down. It's awkward to get it off on these. I don't know why it's so difficult. But I do, it's just really tough glue. I'm going to try and get as much of it off as I possibly can with this. And it does an all right job, to be fair. I'll still come down with the um, with a bit of alcohol on a on a Q-tip in a little bit. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm up to. So this tool is literally just like a little metal stick that spins around really fast, and it it creates friction, and it just pulls the adhesive off, and it does a really nice job. I think every time I use this on a video. People ask me where it comes from. I think it's an AliExpress job. If there is a uh, a link for it, if I can find one, then I'll provide one. But if I can't find it, just be careful, obviously, around the camera. And anywhere also where there's flex cables, um, just be careful. With most batteries now, what I find is, because I, I usually... You have to get the phone hot to take the screen off or whatever. By the time you've done that, it's been sat on the hot plate long enough now that it's easier for sure to just get a plastic pick and just pop the battery out like that. Look, that it's not bent it, it's not done any damage. It's easier to do that than to risk pulling these awful tabs. I've talked about these before. But pulling these tabs out is just not practical, not when there's the cables for the cameras there. Or you can just slide in this side, look, pry it up. I know I've done it now, but I've shown you doing it. And then that's it, The cap, that's it. Look, it doesn't damage the battery. There's no risk. Don't use a metal tool to do that, but use a pick. If it's hot enough, it comes out really, really easy. So that that's, that's the battery out. Rather than messing about with these pull tabs, it's easier to get these out after you've done the job. Because it's just... A bad design, I, I, don't, I don't rate it. The one on the 16E is pretty cool, but for, for this one, yeah, bad design. I'd rather not risk touching those lenses, uh, not lenses, those cables. So let's put that over at the workbench. But also I'm gonna do the same with the, with the spindle tool, look. Let me zoom in so you can see exactly, this would be a better example of how it works. Look, so you've got the gray bit and the black bit, so let me make it so. Try and keep it as flat as possible, and then you're just going to run that along it, and it literally just pulls it away. Look, it does a real nice job. And just yeah, make sure you get as much of the adhesive off as possible. And then all we're going to do on the on the workbench is pretty much put this back together. So let's get off the hot plate now. So we have got the phone, which is pretty clean. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get a Q-tip cotton bud and I'm gonna put alcohol on it, and then I'm gonna run that along this edge, and I'm just gonna scrub it with that until it's literally squeaky clean all the way around it. What you might find is there's small bits of adhesive left behind, and if you have got that, then just use one of these little number four blades, and you can run your blade along it, but generally, you don't really need it because when we did it with the spindle tool it took the majority of the adhesive away on the top just be careful every time i go near these cameras right i'm going to say be careful around those cameras i've seen it i've done it myself where with like just with the alcohol it just ends up dripping onto them cameras what are exposed so keep them taped up don't touch them you don't need to but that's that's clean enough for the seal before we do the seal though, I'm going to put the battery in. So the battery that I'm using on this one is of course a genuine Apple service pack part. It comes with these little blocks which are the screws. I'm not really sure what screws it gives you. Like that's a layout of the phone. I'm not sure why we need those screws. I don't. I don't. I'm not going to use them. I just chuck them to one side. But it's handy I suppose if you do lose a screw and then obviously the battery comes packed up like that it's already got the adhesive attached to it and then this white thing what it comes with if you notice there's little spacer blocks there that's designed so that what what will happen is I'll, I'll show you as i do it 
I'm gonna peel this off here. And then no matter where you put this block, the only way that it fits in is perfectly in position, if that makes sense. So as long as they're, they're, they're not gonna to be too close to any components, the battery's gonna be in the right position. And then what you'll find is that that will connect quite easily. I know when we've done aftermarket stuff in the past, sometimes you have to realign the battery connector and stuff. Um, but these line up perfectly when you do it that way. Just make sure you can, I mean, realistically, you can reconnect that while the battery's connected. For the sake of this, we've already got it all in pieces, so we can just leave it safe, disconnected. What you do need to do though, is peel off those bits. That was really satisfying. Same with this one here. And that's gonna remove that little spacer. And then the battery's installed mint. Absolutely perfect. Just apply a bit of pressure along where the adhesive is. And that's it. Uh, so there's a little bit of adhesive left over on the back edge of this back cover. A little bit of isopropyl alcohol on that Q-tip of yours is gonna remove all of that and make it clean. I much prefer using the Q-tips to, uh, to clean things up nowadays rather than the brushes. The brushes like squirt liquid all over the place and with that liquid there's generally a bit of mess so it's, it is a bit more neat and clean to use the q-tips and i'll stand corrected i don't think anyone's ever called me out on it but um i think i've, I've seen the error in my own ways and, uh, and found a better method i suppose but that's clean that's ready to install all we're gonna do now is First, I'm just going to make sure that that tape's not in the way of my, my sticker going on. So I'll just push it down like that. And then with these stickers, I always say line it up in the left and then follow it round. But on these, I'm going to actually line it up on the top right. So line the top right up and then follow it round on the right hand edge. I think you can see what I'm doing there. And then the rest of it will follow suit. The reason being, there's like a little... Can you see it? It sort of drops down. The, it, make, the, it makes a gap on there. It's nice and tight in that corner, but then it drops down. Don't know why. It's just a weird shape. All the parts, by the way, this is a genuine um, adhesive and obviously the genuine battery as well. All the parts and tools and equipment that you see me use in this video are available at our video sponsor, which is, of course, Mobile Centrix UK. And I'll, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can buy these parts. Um, and yeah, they're our new supplier. We get pretty much everything from them now. And they are very good at what they do and supplying parts is what they do. Sometimes it's quite, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this back together because right, basically we're gonna put this back together by reconnecting that, reconnecting the battery and then putting them two shields on. But just in the meantime, it's, it's sometimes it can be a bit forced to do a, a promotional thing on a company, but genuinely, the parts that we get from Mobile Centrix, I have very rarely have issues with. When there's returns, they're easy to deal with. So it just makes sense. Like it, it makes it easy for me to just say, just buy them from Mobile Centrix. You know, when you're searching for something on the internet, you say, just Google it. We just get it from MS. It's like becoming part of the vocabulary. Like, oh, just have a look on MS. They have everything in on, on Mobile Centrix. I'm not just, I'm not just plugging them for the sake of it. Like it's, I'm being serious. Anyway, that's reconnected. I'm gonna reconnect the battery now, which is just pushing it down. And then I'm gonna go for, first of all, the battery connector, which you have to sort of put upright and sort of hook it into place first. They're awkward. There we go, that's hooked in. Um, and then you've got the two screws. So I did, I think I told a lie when I said that the two, that all the screws are the same. Right, the smallest of them all goes in this one here and the longest of them all which there's there's only a, like a tiny bit in it but that goes in the standoff screw which goes just there you probably not even notice and it won't do any damage either but that's just how it is and then with this one you don't line it up perfectly you have to sort of line it up off and then push it into place so that it slides in onto there Weird little screw, that one. Oh, weird little shield. Um, but I think what I said is better than what it looked like. Screw it down. 
all that we've got left to do now is peel off this last bit of peel. So because we, we cleaned it up so well, we know that it's gonna stick. I was zoomed in, sorry. And then, yeah, just move this out of the way. Try not drop it on the camera. Oops. Peel it all back like that. Peel off the dust protection there. And then if you grab a, if you grab yourself a little dust blower, just go over the cameras, everything. Just make sure it's dust free. So we're gonna seal this up now. And that's it. Start at the top, push it down, make sure it's sat flat and flush. And then the rest of it should, it says should follow suit. Just be aware, like like I said, they can sometimes bend a bit, these. Uh, the little clips on the end, so just be aware of that. But I think, generally. That's all gone into place. Just make sure it's all sat flat. And that's it, yep. Finally, two bottom screws. And yeah, just to get those two bottom screws in, don't forget them, they're important. Especially if you don't listen to me, don't buy them from Mobile Centrix and you buy cheap seal, it'll probably fall off. And then if you don't forget, if you forget them screws, it'll definitely, definitely fall off. You're gonna plug this phone into a PD power delivery charging cable. So in this case, it's a USB-C. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna press and hold volume up and volume down at the same time. Then I'm gonna plug it in. As long as this phone is up to date on the latest iOS, then what we'll be able to do is calibrate this battery that we've just installed with Apple's self-repair service, I think. I think that's what you call it. Self-service repair, that's what it is. Oh yeah, sorry, when you get the Apple logo, you release the volume up and volume down. Don't just stand and wait for something to happen. You have to release it once you get the Apple logo. And it, it takes a minute, just bear with it and then you'll see where we're going with this. So it comes on to diagnostics and repair. We continue through this. One thing I've noticed is these batteries come with no charge in them. What you'll find is it'll not, it'll not allow you to do it until it's at 20%. So just a little note there. Uh, we're gonna go diagnostics, agree to the terms and conditions, finish this repair, and then it's just gonna configure, it'll detect that it's got a new battery in it. We choose finish this repair on the battery and it takes a minute to configure and that's it. It, it, it literally is gonna say battery finished, then it'll go, it'll do its thing, restart, and it's really, really easy. Right, that's it, it's done it. Can restart it now. The phone will turn on in a minute. So now that it's turned on, we're gonna to go to settings and we're gonna to go to battery. Battery health is normal, of course, because it's 100%. Look, this is the battery first use, the manufacturer date. This is the phone. Oh, the, the battery was made in March 2025 and its first use was July 2025. It's got zero cycles on it and it's 100% maximum capacity. That's how you swap a iPhone 15 genuine battery. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.